Hey guys, Thunderset here, showing you what was once a tier 0 deck. I believe it was Duel Link's first undisputed tier 0 deck, if you don't count Relinquished. But I don't. So this was it. When Cyber Angels came out, they were absolutely crazy, guys. We just had unlimited Dakinis, unlimited Machine Angel Rituals. If you played for a while, you remember what it was like. If you're kind of new to Duel Links, it was insane. Everyone was playing. Everyone was playing Cyber. It was a, the first literal tier zero. Nothing could beat it. You just played it and played it in different ways. That's all anyone was doing. So uh, it's back. We got some new support. It's obviously not tier zero. They gutted the deck with their first nerf and kept nerfing it. Even after no one played it, they just kept nerfing it into the ground. They hated this deck. Konami hated this deck. And uh, they still hate it, but they're giving us new cards. So we got Cyber Angel Izana, and she does great stuff. She's obviously a fairy, light. Level 8, that's very important. And you can ritual summon this card with Machine Angel Ritual. If this card is ritual summoned, you can make your opponent send one spell or trap they control to the graveyard. When this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. This card may, can make a second attack, but it has to be at a monster. Once per turn, when your opponent activates enough card or effect that targets a Cyber Angel you control, you can shuffle one ritual monster from your graveyard into your deck, and if you do, destroy one card on your opponent's side. So you're always going to have ritual monsters in the graveyard if she's on the field, usually, because Dakini is the one that really recycles them back. So all her effects are really going to be live. The hardest one to get off is obviously the... Uh, the one with the monsters attacking and destroying the monsters, but it's also great. She's also level 8 for our Dakini, so we're not really hard locked into a skill like level duplication. Level duplication is still a fantastic skill to use with this deck. Uh, I chose Grit because instead of, you know, ruining your deck and frustrating yourself trying to make a perfect Cyber Angels that's going to have competent first turn plays and stuff like that, it's just not gonna work. Even with Sephiroth, or whatever that dragon's called, uh, I think it's better to just fully sell out to the coin flip OTK and go with Grit and just play it like that. Another new card we got is Merciful Machine Angel. Very useful. You tribute one Cyber Angel, draw two cards, then you uh, place one of them on the bottom of your deck. Very cool effects. The bonus part is you're tributing. It says tribute one Cyber Angel, and when Ben 10 is tributed, you uh, get to search your deck for another ritual, so it's really a plus two for this one, which is pretty useful. Very, very useful. But uh, we also have the staples. Kishiki Chain is just very good. I only have one copy, but usually one copy is all you really want. Three Senjus, because he is also a light fairy, so he's searchable with Ben 10, believe it or not. And usually he's going to be the better search, unless you're waiting on a Sonic Bird. We have two Sonic Birds and the Gishiki Chains as our only means to find our Ritual Spells because we're only using four Ritual Spells. So if you count these, it's kind of like seven. Six for sure. I just like to have the bodies instead of actual other Ritual Spells because we're not using level duplication. It's kind of hard to get them out if you don't have the bodies on the field or in your hand. Other than that, guys, not much has changed with the Archetype. This makes it a little stronger. It might be a rogue deck you find out there, but I don't think it's going to break the meta or any of that kind of crazy stuff. So don't be too scared. Go ahead and jump right in. Uh, these ratios probably aren't optimal. You probably do not need three of her, of uh, Izana. I just farmed for her very hard and got three, so I wanted to show off my three and use three in a deck. Uh, you could use two or three of these. They're, they're pretty consistent, especially with your Ben 10, so I mean, it, it's all good. And uh, yeah, other than that, it plays just like Samurai Angels, guys. Just a little more depth and a little more consistency, so I hope you guys enjoy the replays. Okay, fighting in Akiza. Going first. That is not good with this deck, and that is the exact reason we use Grit. This is a 28 card mess we're fighting, it looks like. Perfect Merciful Angel with our Ben 10. Very useful combo. We get to 2, send a Ben 10 back. Now we get a search. We're going to search our Eda 10. Very good. 
Normal summon our Senju of the Thousand Hands for the brand new Cyber Angel Izana. Pass our turn because we have grit, we're not scared of anything. Turns out we're fighting another Cyber Angel, so he's chosen to run Spirit Sprite's Blessing, which will ritual summon any generic light ritual monster. A uh, very useful card, like I said, I prefer the Sonic Bird to have the actual body as ritual fuel because it's level 4, so it works out pretty well. He searches a Machine Angel Ritual and a Senju, pretty generic play. Normal summons a Senju, grabs his Dakini. Let's see if he sacks them both. Nope, he doesn't have to, he's using level duplication. Very good skill to use in this deck. Like I keep saying though, I prefer Grit for reasons you are about to see. So, Cyber Angel Dakini is going to get nice and fat. Going to send us away. Swing for what would be lethal without Grit. So you can see Grit making the matchup. <laughs> This is this was the meta back in the day. You had Cyber Angels or Cyber Angels. Some players ran Grit. Some people ran other complicated skills. You were just running. You tried to run traps. There's all sorts of stuff with different Cyber Angels. So here we top deck the Sonic Bird, which is fantastic. Get our Machine Angel Ritual. Use it to summon our E to ten with a Ben ten. That's gonna give us a search. We should have searched the Senju, I don't think we do. Yeah, we just search a Menten. Sort of search the Senju, even though we can't summon it this turn. So now we're going to Machine Angel Ritual, our two monsters on the field. Because we only want our big boy, we don't want anything she can swing into. Now we're $3,700. Well, we're going to not swing into her, we're going to swing into the little boy. Or no, he sends the little boy, so we're not going to swing at all. Thanks to the Kini effect. Now 3700 versus 3700. Machine Angel rituals all around. Banish him. His Dakini gives him a Ben 10 back. What's our Dakini gonna do? We need to get lucky and top deck into another spell, and of course we do. We get a Machine Angel Ritual Absolute, or however the words are arranged. Summon a Ben 10 with an E to 10. Now about this play, the optimal premium play would be to summon the E to 10 with the Ben 10 first, then search another Ben 10, then search your whatever spell. You could get it from the graveyard, you could get it from the deck, then you normal sum then you summon the Ben 10 with the E to 10 from the field. I knew this was over, I didn't suspect any Spirit Karibo, so I wasn't trying to play fully up to me, I'm in a hurry, just want to win. We swing in, don't need to worry about my follow-up plays, get our E to 10 back, doing just fine. 2800, 4700, he scoops. We beat the mirror match, thanks to Grit, guys. Fighting Jack Atlas, the one and only. Some British dude, going first. Looks like another huge deck, I'm not even noticing. Yeah, that's another 30 card deck. That's, that is really weird, because I'm in Legend, so it must be super late in the season. Maybe it's time to cog. What deck am I gonna cog? I have no idea. This guy, uh, we go first, we just search. We have lots of spell cards in our hand. I'm fighting a Neos. Neos will not be protected by Power of the Guardians. He will not be protected by Neos Fusion because he is going to be sent from the field. Now, Dakini, why was this deck tier zero? I get another Sendu and search Anita 10 to do the basic plays. Why was this deck tier 0? Because Dakini does not target you. Dakini just sends you to the graveyard. Um, it's it's kind of weird. It's not a normal mechanic. She literally just sends you to the graveyard. It works like a banish. You can't chain stuff. It, or you can chain stuff. The play was chain a Nikon take and make her send her own Dakini. But, uh, so here we use the absolute ritual to use from our graveyard. Send two Senjus, she's gonna force him to send the spell card away. It was just a DNA surgery, so this guy's running some super degenerate 30 card deck. Winds up, he just gets OTK. Okay, fighting a Zane. Going second for once, that's gonna be fantastic. He's using Cyber Angels, 21 or no, we're using Cyber Angels. He's using 21 cards. We have a varied hand, very good. He's using Neos Fusion, Sons of Bacon Saber, of course, two face down. Let's see what he's got. We're gonna use Senju. 
that gives us E to 10. Absolute ritual. We sacrifice the Ben 10, summon the E to 10. That's a very basic Cyber Angel play. You do it for an extra search. You do it for all sorts of stuff. He's going to Treacherous Trap Hole us. So we're getting hit with Neos. We're getting hit with Treacherous. We're just getting hit all over the place. But we have plenty of spell cards. We can bring our boy out. It's going to ignore Neos' protection at all costs. Bring out the Dakini. Here we go. Now we're getting started. We get rid of his Neos. Swing for 2700. Get our E to 10 back in the hand. We have an absolute ritual. We're doing just fine. He has one face down. He let us attack him because he wanted Cyber Style. Now he's going to use Polymerization. Bring out the brand new Cyber Twin Dragon. Now I'm going to let him kill my Dakini. We could have stopped it with the Machine Angel Ritual. But I don't want to protect the Dakini. We got other stuff coming. We got other girls we like now. It's not all about Dakini. Even Ben 10. She'll be great. We go for the simple stuff. Summon the Ben 10. She's going to be 2800. Guess what? Now we can suicide. He won't let us, so he bacon savers. We got plenty of waifus in the step. We don't gotta worry about Dakini. Now he's swinging in. We have Machine Angel Ritual. He dies. We live. Ben 10. In case you didn't know her effect like this guy didn't. When she destroys a monster, you take their defense value as damage. He didn't see it coming. A lot of people might not. Go have fun, guys. Okay, here we are fighting Odeon. See what he's got. We're going first. Terrible going first. So lots of these replays have been us going first. That's how you really utilize grit, guys. You just have fearless first turn plays with grit. Even with grit not being as good as it once was, it's still fearless first turn plays. It's great, guys. So we use our merciful machine angel to get rid of Ben 10, get a Sonic Bird, get all these plus ones. We got a nice hand. It's going good going well. We're fighting a 6 Sam. He's dojo in. He's got N Shi. That means he's gonna get his boy off. She in. What is Odeon using a 6 Sam for? Maybe he just needs skills or just to level him up. Two back row, one She in. What are we gonna do guys? What are we gonna do? We're gonna use our absolute ritual. She in's gonna negate it, but we got plenty coming. Now we're gonna use the good one, the machine angel ritual. Or no, we used another absolute. We're doing the E to 10 first. This is why Cyber Angels are kind of slow. These are the optimal plays. Uh, summoning E to 10, searching, doing all that good stuff. Now he chooses to send both of these to my hand. That is perfectly fine with me. I don't need my normal summon and I don't need them on the field. So that was a big misplay for him. He should have waited for a boss, an actual boss. We normal summon the Sonic Bird again to get a uh, Another spell card. Use the Machine Angel Ritual this time. To both Get rid of both of those. Whether they're in the field or in the hand makes no difference. So that's a big misplay from him. We get a fat Dakini out. Gonna send his boy away. Gain some attack points. Swing in. That's probably another dual wheel. Get our E to 10 right back. He's got one card. He's got one card face down. What is he possibly gonna do? Normal summons a Fuma, special summons a Legendary 6, that's a pretty good top deck. But my top decks are better. He summons a Xi'an, realizes it's useless in scoops, guys. So this deck, it's not tier 0, obviously. Uh, poor first turn plays, guys, very poor first turn plays are its weakness. That's why we have Grit, but it's more consistent now. It's more consistent, it has a little more going on. I don't know if it can stand up to the current meta. Even with grit, but uh, you'll see it out there. It can probably cog, and you will run into it. So get ready for it. Machine Angels are back, guys. I hope you enjoyed the replays. Thanks a lot.